previously on Caretaker Series. How will you come and say you want to sell my compound? Mm, sorry, your, your compound. Eh? What kind of a situation will make a man want to sell my compound? Your compound? He's doing this because of Mark. Exactly now. He wants Mark out of this compound. So why can't you just meet Mark straight and tell Mark leave my compound? How can he say he wants to sell my, my, my house? How can he say he wants to sell uh, my Mark, compound? Mark, Mark, let, let, let me get this right. Your house or landlord's house? Mark, you're doing Yahoo Yahoo in my compound. Mark, you're doing Yahoo Yahoo in my compound. And I will report you to EFCC. Start making arrangements to pack out of my compound because I am not ready to accommodate any other person in my compound. That is your quick notice. And I give all of you two days to pack out of my house. <coughs> Mark, you know, at first, when landlord came with this thing that he said he wants to uh, uh, um, um, sell his compound, I thought he was bluffing. But this one that he came and said giving all of us quick notice. I don't understand this one, no. Eh? See, I know that landlord is not happy for the fact that you are his caretaker. I know all this that he's doing is just to get at you. But my confusion now is, why is landlord not giving everybody quick notice? First of all, our house rents have not even expired. Where is this even done? Eh? If I, see, uh, my question now is, what are you going to do about this thing that the landlord is doing? This move the landlord is making, I don't like it. So what is your intention? What are you planning? How, what is your counter move? Kebran, if I tell you now that I have counter move, I'm lying. Kebran, I don't have counter move. This one that landlord is doing now surprises me the way it surprises everybody. I know very well that this thing is, is, is me. It's me. That Lord cannot tell me that he wants to uh, uh, sell this house, that he needs money. Eh? It's me. And I don't know what to do right now. No, Mark, this, this is unacceptable. You need to think about something. You need to come up with something. Eh? This is not fair now. No, Mark, you need to come up with something. The first day, we'll hit the ground. Then we'll continue. Then we'll pack out. Gabriel, I have nothing else. Only to pack out. He said we should pack out of his house. We'll pack out. Mark, he can't just quit. He can't just give up. All right, landlord. Um, this is Mr. Gotite. Okay. This young man is interested in the compound you put up for sales. Okay. So I actually brought him. I've discussed with him. I've shown him the pictures of the compound and he likes it. So I brought him before you to discuss with you how it's going to look like. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, Mr. Ugo Tait. Yes, sir. You are welcome to my house. It's a pleasure. Thank uh, you. Just like what he has said, um, Mr. Ugo Tait, I have seen the pictures of the compound, and I think I'm interested in that compound. So how much are we talking about? Okay, um, nobody that will not be interested in buying my compound because it's a compound that I took time to build for the satisfaction of my tenants and any other person that would want to have it for keeps. So um, my compound, I looked at the economic situation, is up for grabs to the tune of 150 million naira. 150 million naira. You see, in that compound, there are blocks of flats. I have borehole. I have water tank. The taps are all running. And I also have very good environment, open environment for children to play around. I have all that it takes for you to be comfortable in that compound. That is why I have to bring it down to 150 million naira, considering the economic situation of our country. Mr. Landlord, I haven't seen the reality of economy, uh, Mr. Landlord. I want you to consider that I will afford 20 million for that compound. Um, uh, 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 Mr. Ogotait, I, uh, my landlord, the landlord has spoken very well. You can see that the facilities in that compound is very, very okay. You understand? Uh, like I was showing you the picture, you saw how beautiful the place is. So if you have that amount of money, just go for it. You will enjoy it, you will benefit from there. Just to put off there for tenants and all that. 
So I think um, he has spoken well and has given you a very best price. So if to me, it should be okay by you. Well, I have tried. That means that I can't afford such amount. So um, I'm not ready to go below 150 million. He's not ready. So you do for another client. Okay. 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 For another client. All right, no problem. All right. Uh, Mr. Ugotait. Yeah. Thank you very much for your coming. Okay. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll look up to that and then call you all. That is what I'm about to say. I will be going. Uh, but if there is any change in mind concerning the price, please let me know. Don't, I will definitely don't do that. hesitate to I reach will me. Definitely do Thank you very Thank much. You very Thank you, Mr. Landlord. Thank I appreciate you. it. It's a pleasure having talked with you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Mister, what are you doing? What are you doing with bag? I am packing. Mr. Azu, what is it hard for you to see that I am packing? Eh? What is it? Mister, let's know what I am thinking. We are packing to where? Ha! What question is we are packing to where? What kind of question is this one again this early morning? Mr. Azu, landlord said that we should leave this compound. So me, I am packing my things so that I can look for alternative means and leave the compound. You see, this is the problem we have in this part of Africa. That no one wants to know his rights. No one wants to know his rights. That someone can wake up every morning and say, you should pack out from the house. This we don't pay that friend, and our friends have not expired. You still have to pack out. We are not cannot infringe our rights. We know our rights. If you don't know your rights, I know my rights. They still come in a coward. Be a man. Why are you afraid of him? No, why are you afraid of landlord? I know my rights, and he cannot come and infringe my rights. What kind of nonsense are you talking? No, I'm looking at you. You are packing your, 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 your clothes with your bag. What do you want to do that nonsense? You say you need to stand up and know your rights. What is this nonsense? Tell me the coward. Be a man. Ikuchala, are you done? Eh, Mr. Right. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I know my right. In this part of Africa, every time you're quoting this part of Africa, every time you don't know your right. Don't worry, stay here. They'll come and warn like the police. They'll come and catch you. Let me know what stop that nonsense. Who is afraid of the police? If you like, let me know what I'm military. I am not in this place. Even if you like, let me go call him Bago. Let me go to the state and call him Bago. I'm afraid of the police. Ah, that's your problem. Can you really, 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 when you come now, also need you. This is your leg, you will be sitting ah, on your head. Ah, if everyone can run, I cannot run. No, no, listen. The Mr. Zoo, you know last year, it's not Mr. Zoo, you, you, you know this year. <laughs> eh? Listen, my eyes have opened. After this election, my eyes have opened to so many things. I am not afraid of anybody. Not even the landlord. I know my right. I, I don't my eyes. Eye open. Have you heard of that proverb that said, eyewitness, they are blue eyewitness for eye. They will soon blow your eyes. I cannot have eyewitness, my friend. Blow your eyes. Leave it to me. Leave it to me. I don't have this company. I don't have this company. I don't have this company. This is landlord. This is landlord. If you follow, if you. There's the one who look at this and find out he's not the owner of this place. Uh, leave it now. Let me. Who is this? Me now. Who is he? Leave me now. Me, I want to pack him. Leave me. Ah, you know the history of this place. Yes. You see, what I was in a brother owns this place. Okay. Not afraid of him. I can not pack out. Bam. I can tell him I cannot pack out. Okay. Let him go call him Bago. Okay. Call him Saka. Call him. Hey, hey. Call him. I will not pack out. We have heard you. You can be afraid of him. I'm not afraid of him. Mr. Man, keep your bag inside. Don't be afraid of him. He cannot do anything. Keep your bag inside. No, come on, come on, carry my bag inside now. Is this your bag? Mr. Zoo, respect yourself. Oh, have come back. Keep your bag. Keep your bag. Stay here. Do not be afraid of the landlord. Stay. I will protect you. Let me protect you for once. Let me protect you. <laughs> Protector. <laughs> Burglary proof. I've seen how you are protecting yourself now. My friend, go and look for a house. That was saying you pack up for me. Go and look for a house. Leave me alone. I am uh -huh. not packing that. Mr. I am not packing that. I am not what. I will advise everybody this compound. Nobody will pack up for this compound. Let us know to our fans. Say if I are here. Oh. Tell him to leave me alone. Me, I want to pack. Is it by force? Even the fact knows that we, we, we need to stand on our rights. Oh, yeah, no. How can we not pay ourselves and stand on your victim uh, house? Uh, it's your, your, your right, not my own right. Listen, if, if you have mind, let us face him in the court. No, 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 Landlord, it's another client I brought for you again for the same compound. Okay. So he has seen the pictures and everything, and he said he's interested in the compound. So I brought him before you. So, Mr. Ma, you can take it from there and discuss with him. Okay. Uh, before you take it from there, what is your name? Um, my name is Mr. Matthew. Mr. Matthew? Yes. Okay, Mr. Matthew, you're welcome to my house. Thank you, Mr. Landlord. Okay, he has explained everything to you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, I haven't seen the pictures. I think I like the compound, and I'm very much interested in the compound. You like the compound? Yes. 
Okay. Um, did they tell you how much I put it for? Um, I would like to hear from you directly. Okay. So now the compound you've seen the pictures is put for one fifty million naira. One fifty million naira. You see, what you saw in the picture is just a microcosm of what my compound look like. If you see my compound, in it, I have blocks of flats, apartments, juicy apartments. I have open playground that you can park your car, children can play. I have borehole. I also have water tank that can even feed the neighborhood. The taps are all running. I put that compound in a way that people who live there, even you, will have the comfort we deserve. The environment is cozy. That is why I considered the economic situation of this country by placing it for 150 million naira. Um, Mr. Lallard, the company is indeed very fine and comfortable. But 150 million is too exorbitant. I cannot afford that amount. But well, with the landscape and everything, I think I can give you 10 million naira for that compound. 10 million naira? Yes. Sorry, I will not budge below 150 million naira. Okay. Thank you very much. It's nice talking with you. Thank you very much. Uh, all right, uh, you, you can you've said it all. You know the, that compound, that place is also in this strategic environment. No problem. You, know, you like no it, problem. Like but I believe you have my decades. Yes. So okay. if there's any form of change of mind, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You believe. Hello. Hello. Hey, is this the landlord agent? Oh, yeah, the, uh, this landlord agent. Very good. Look, I am still interested in buying the compound. Uh, so help me tell landlord that I want to buy the compound and I'm offering 40 million naira. 40 million naira? Yes, 40 million naira. Okay, okay, okay. Let me discuss with the landlord and I'll get back to you. Let him know. All right. All right. Um, yes, sorry, uh, Mark just called me now. Mark? Uh, yes. Mark, you know now. He just called me now. That is interested in the compound and you offer you 40 million naira. What so, nonsense? Over my dead body. What's wrong with that boy? I've told him I don't want to have anything to do with him. What impudence? What effrontery? Does he have to continue to pressure in hook and crooked way to buy my compound? 40 million naira. That is bagadash. Nonsense. I will never do that. And don't ever pick any call coming from that new company. Give me credible clients. For my compound, oh. credible clients, not anybody from my compound, okay. not any of my ten tenants. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, they have been so catankeros. I have had a lot of problems with them. Okay, okay. That is why you have to get me outside of credible people. Right, In fact, call that guy. Which one? That first guy who got who got who got okay, tight. Okay, okay, okay. That price twenty million naira. Okay. Instead of me to sell my compound to Mark for forty million naira. I'll come down okay. to sell it 20 million naira. So call that person. Call that guy. All right, I will do just just that. Like you said, no problems. If, since you don't want Mark to pay ah. 20 million, so I'll call the other guy to come. No problems. <laughs> ah, <laughs> but I'm Mimi. How are you now? I'm not fine. Ha. I've called all the agents I know. I've been moving from one compound to another Bistan. I've not been able to see any reasonable house. <laughs> <laughs> to look to house homes is not easy. Oh. I'm frustrated already. My dear, I don't even know what to do either. Eh? From the look of the landlord is not going back on his word, so he's bent on us leaving his, his compound. So me, I had, I'm just even packing my things. Even if it's the village, I'll go and rest my head first then. From there, I'll start looking for a house. Because me, I'm tired. The time frame is very short now. Me, where do I want to go to now? How can I go to my village? 
Which village? My husband's village or my father's village? I, I, at least you have a husband's village. You go somewhere now. Whether your own village or your husband's village. Me is village first. Let me go there and cool my head. Then plan on how to start looking for a house. Because the old landlord is going about it. He's not going back on his words. So yeah, that's just yeah, it. I can't go to my village. Oh. Eh? Can't, can't you talk to landlord? Eh? Even if it's to give us some time, well, at least change his mind. Mimi, I have talked to landlord all I know. Me, I've talked to him. Oh. I don't know what else to say to him. The kind of prices I'm hearing for house now, eh? And most of the houses, rubbish houses. I don't know. Like you can I'm see, I'm, I'm packing my things. Let me go and arrange my things. Let me move my TV, because that one is very important to me. So I wish you good luck in your own house hunting. So, uh, Mr. Fugotite, you see, after due consideration, I decided to consider your offer of 20 million naira. My compound is actually far beyond that amount. But for the sake of extraneous factors around me, I decided to give it to you for that amount. Okay, Mr. Landlord, thank you very much. That is a very good a heart and considerable. Uh, on the second thought, I decided to make more inquiry about that particular company. Yes, Mr. Landlord, what I discovered, we I discovered fighting in that company is like Iraq and Iran. I learned that there is always court case, police case in that company. Because one of my problems, Mr. Landlord, is ability to rent it out. People have already known that compound. That is a troublesome compound. Because of that, I won't be able to pay 20 million in that compound. If you will be more considerate, I will pay 15 million. So that let me manage the rest wahala that will come out of that compound. This is business. You lose, sometimes you gain. This time around, I am losing. So I wouldn't budge because I want to get some problems and some wahala off my neck from that compound. I'll consider your offer 50 million naira. Okay, Mr. Landlord, uh, you know, I took a proper look at the pictures of the compound. I have not, you know, see it one on one. Before I will make any payment or receive the document, I would like to go and view the compound by myself if it is actually worth that 15 million self it's a, see 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 mm -hmm. like i told you i decided to give it at giveaway price this is business like i said earlier on you either lose or you gain i am losing if you go there you look at it you say ah this man just decided to just Give out this thing, you know what I mean? Just to throw this this property away. Mm -hmm. That is it. Mr. Yeah. Landlord, that so is I it. I am not against that. We'll go and I'll show you my compound. Okay. You will appreciate what I'm talking about. Okay. There's no problem. We go. can go. All right, let's go. We can go and see it. Everything you saw in the pictures that he showed you are all my compound. You've seen it all. You've seen everything. Okay? The twin flats, the sumo pump, both the water tank, even my soccer way, were decked 
it it can, can yes can yes exactly it can carry the soccer away it can carry even to a land you know head all right mr landlord i think it is exactly what i'm looking for okay i like the compound yes all right we can proceed and the payment i hope you take by transfer yeah yeah accept transfer accept okay. transfer yes uh, the document you have to pay, make the payment before we sign the document okay, making the payment first before we sign before it. signing the document yes yes yes, yes. all right uh, let's go there uh, just uh, give me the account number okay. in which we are paying it in okay zero 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 one two one two three four three four five six five six two eight two eight yes access bank sources okay i just got the alert all right I just got the alert that's good um so get me the document for signing all right Yes, yes, yes. Um, this is the document for signature. Okay, okay. okay so okay. every other thing you need to know about my compound is in this envelope. The survey, the deed of conveyance. Everything, yeah, everything is here. Okay, all right. Okay, I've signed as the landlord of this compound. Okay, as you now. Okay, so it's now for you to sign as the buyer. Um, actually, Mr. Landlord. I'm not the one to sign this document. Yeah. Uh, uh, actually, uh, I'm not the one that bought the house. It's my client. Who is your client? Uh, okay, she's here already. Yes. Hey, wonderful family of caretaker series i hope you enjoyed that episode thank you so much for always being here thank you for helping us to build the community um and you guys are wonderful see you next friday with another awesome episode hey if you have not subscribed to this channel yet please do well to subscribe to this channel right now. Subscribe to Mark Angel TV so that you see more series and you, you'll be able to get notification when we upload this video. Thank you so much. Um, I love you. We love you. The whole crew says, We love you. We love you. <laughs>